Each semester, we welcome a student speaker from the graduating class to share thoughts and memories as he or she experiences this lifetime um, milestone. Please help me welcome this year's speaker, Nicholas Ernst, to the podium. Dr. Dahlberg, faculty, staff, students, members of the community, family, friends, distinguished guests, class of 2018. It has been nearly five years since I stepped foot for the first time, not only on this campus, but this beautiful country. Like for all of us graduates, the last years have been a time of joy and disappointment, a time of success and failure, but most importantly, a time of love, friendship, and personal growth. I can say without a doubt that for the last years, I was exactly where I was supposed to be. When I first arrived at Valley City State University, I was welcomed with the words, welcome to paradise. For me, that statement was quickly challenged by reality. <laughs> I encountered countless reading assignments and ability projects, a stranger sleeping in the same room, the first frostbite, and a drinking age five years higher than I was used to. <laughs> I was confused to say the least. Valley City State University didn't seem like paradise to me. However, over the years, I found value in those words. I learned to understand that a university is not defined by its size, its location, or its weather, but by its people. I encountered a vibrant student body, faculty, who deeply care about their student success, staff taking pride in their work, and a community opening their hearts and doors to students. For all that, I'll be forever grateful. Throughout my time at VCSU, I learned more than I ever imagined. I learned to think critically, to challenge the status quo, and to question my opinions while staying true to my values. I learned the deep meaning behind a simple paint bucket, and I learned that Wednesday nights in Valley City aren't meant for studying. <laughs> but above all, I learned the importance of education, especially higher education, and the significance of our public education system. It does so much more than educate. It is the foundation of American democracy, society, and economy. That is why I say loud and clearly, if you doubt its value, if you question its contribution to society, if you think it's too expensive to invest in, try ignorance, try bigotry, try illiteracy. Limiting our investment in education won't save us anything. It will cost us dearly. It will cost our next generation the skills to succeed. It will cost us the ability to move our society forward. And it will cost us our hope for a brighter future. I firmly believe in that hope, the hope that because we as a collective can accomplish extraordinary things, we can indeed change the world for the better. But to do so, we must find common ground when there appears to be none. We must genuinely listen to each other, not shout at one another. We must engage in a discourse which is civil and constructive, and we must base our arguments on science and facts. Only then can we attempt to solve the crucial challenges of our time. Only then can we fulfill the promise that every child is born with the same chance to succeed. Only then can we win the last nonpartisan fight in America, the fight against cancer. And only then can we strive towards a world defined by peace and social justice, a world without ignorance and bigotry, a world in which tolerance, respect, and human dignity are not just buzzwords, but values we live by. Let us not imagine what could be. Let us get to work. Let us fight for the change we wish to see in the world. Let us not give up power by assuming we don't have any. Let us not live life in the passenger seat. Let us grab the wheel and make sure we're going in the right direction. And before we act, speak, or tweet, 
let's always ask ourselves one fundamental question. Will our words and actions bring people together or will they divide? Let us be uniters. Let us be kind. Let us be empathetic. Let us be compassionate, especially to the people we disagree with. There's nothing as powerful as two individuals with fundamental disagreements sitting down and finding common ground. Indeed, it is the only thing that can help us solve the challenges of our time. Dear Valley City State University, thank you for five incredible years. Thank you for the laughter and the tears along the way. Thank you for welcoming us into your family. And thank you for proving that you are indeed a little slice of paradise. Thank you. Thank you, Nicholas, for sharing your thoughts, and especially for being a student who took advantage of the many opportunities to participate in college. By doing so, you have helped us become a better university, and we look forward to seeing your progress as you take your next steps in graduate school.